Hey guys, through here with none of it for Blender. This one is a part two of this alien probe pod device slash shrine slash whatever. Guys, just before we start, I wanted to mention that Blender Bros has a Patreon. So if you would like to support Josh and myself, a link in the video description. There's quite a few people over there. They're just an amazing bunch. And we got some cool stuff coming from November Patreon. So have a look, check it out and hope to see you there. Thanks a lot and we you know just having fun so you know this could be um this could be also beveled i think here i mean chamfered sorry not beveled these sharp edges you know it's not really me if you know what i mean so we're gonna grab this and run it all the way up here and to the top and bollocks oh there is no connection here so let's connect these two with a vert and then boom let's run the edge up the um uh, up this structure and we're just gonna simply you know just give it a bit of a chance for you and see if everything is peachy everything is peachy how about the top and give it a bit of a lesser lesser bevel because it's balanced a bit insane yeah there we go cool and you know weighted normals right you see now now we got this kind of like a light catching thing you got some get some devices from the sides or even we could have some at the back you know because let's say that this is a path right this these are not path which means these could be some kind of i don't know generators or whatnot so we could actually, you know, um, just sharpen this floor and uh, basically, um, come on, apply this mirror. So, smart apply, there we go. And select these and F and, you know, um, inset them a little bit and extrude them up and simply sharpen them. How are we looking? We're looking pretty good these could be a little bit smaller so maybe like this and sort of you know i don't know chamfered maybe so there you go and this one should be also i mean could be dropped down like this and we could have an edge in here going through so marked sharp okay how are we looking that's all right you see this yep we could have like a massive gate in here because you know think about the scale if this is massive to, to, you know this could be like a gate in here or something so uh, and a pathway through it so this could be like an elevated walkway on on you know uh, all around so we could do with uh, a curve extract right and lift this whole thing up and then we could recut it so uh, run a regular angle in inside so the path you know it's a little bit narrower than um, than the uh, cuts on the bottom so just slush here and bring the cutter up and you know make it a bit more even so some like that and then you know grab this one and do the same thing here and basically you know cut it like this and then bring the color up and simply align it here so it makes sense right and just you know just mirror it so there you go and you got this path on top of it right just kind of like floating on on top of the uh the other place and this could be um, here in the middle, right? Could be um, we could cut it with a knife. So let's grab a box, and you know we could cut something like this here, and press K and slice it, and then you got this uh, this bit here. So let's just sharpen this, and then you got this bit here. Um, just connect these two, right? Uh, these two. Not sure why they're not connected they should be but if they're not just connect them and you know extrude this one in right and then we could have weighted normals and we could have an entrance in here you see like a massive one 
even scale it uh, on Y like this, or uh, we could cut it as well. So we could, you know, slice it in shape of, uh, where is it? In this kind of a shape, right? So, oh, come on, give me an end gun. There we go. And, you know, slice it like this. It's mirrored, so. There we go. A bit more interesting, right? PG. This actually could do without, so. Okay, cool. And this, of course, could be a path, I mean, walkway as well. So, what we could do is. Um, mm, we could drop a loop in here and simply, you know, extrude it this way and. Um, simply chamfer this like this yeah and we could even connect these so it kind of yeah this is good I like it all right you know and this could be a gate you know I mean we could make it a little bit bigger but uh, I think we're fine like this so simply scale it in and you know kind of like a walkway inside you see kind of like a uh, you know doorways through through uh, through there but it's actually going a little bit up which is something I don't like so what I'm gonna do is grab these verts right and I'm gonna align them with this one so alt a and down perfect and now this walkway is gonna go straight and this feeling can be dropping down that's okay but and also you know we're gonna make these ones uh, a separate entity so uh, we're going to separate them, right? Uh, we, in fact, you know what we can do? We can just simply curve extract them outside like this, right? And create a sort of a doorway. But before we do that, let's uh, let's actually ex um, let's extrude it in like this, right? So we have a place to you know to insert this thing inside. So um, it's gonna grab this one, make it a bit smaller. So Shift S and two geometry, make it a bit smaller and G. Come on, G, X, and move it in. Yep, somewhere here, and we got a doorway, you see. So we can take care of it later. What are these, man? Sharpen this. Nope. What on earth? I think it's the uh, bevel issue, so we could change it to weight. I think it's gonna fix it. There you go. When in doubt, switch to weight. And this doorway could be, you know, um, could be you know um, sliced a bit here as well um, whoops just the top so this one and then mark it and sharpen it there you go so we got something like this going on and um, we could scale it on Y Yep, awesome. Select this one and just split it just a little bit. So Control B and split it a little bit. Let's go with the uh, EM macro. But before we do it, in fact, you know we can go through the whole shape. EM macro and put it a little bit outside or maybe inside. Yeah, inside would be interesting too. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Sharpen. And let's go with the cavity because I can't bloody see anything. There you go. Cool, that's pretty cool. So, we're getting somewhere. Shift 2, right. Now, what are we gonna do here? Here, you could do some kind of like massive generators or something, or I don't know. Uh, let's press, let's go with circle and and uh, let's uh. We on the wrong side, so let's go with object and simply do something like this. Yeah, one and then two. That didn't work, so we're just gonna simply borrow this. 
So go to the uh, Shift D in edit mode, which will copy the cutter and cut it at the same time. And we're gonna solidify them, okay? So solidify them and we're gonna apply them and we're going to go to flatten with uh, mesh machine. And if you don't have mesh machine, what you need to do, right? Watch this is, uh, let me just hide the cutters for a sec. Select all these, right? all these buggers. Select the one on the top and Alt A and top, right? That didn't work, wait, here, Alt, come on. Alt A and top, there you go. All right, so it's the same thing. Uh, it's just a little bit more hustle and uh, cool. So let's, you know, let's do something cool like this and let's insert them in. Okay, extrude them and then insert them a little bit again and extrude them up and and do something like this and let's remove this double edge here because confusion and uh, we got some generators in here whatnot you know we could, it could be connected to the ceiling as well right so we could connect them as well so scale them up and you know um, select these Come on, there we go, and this one and dissolve. There you go. Perfect. So now, now that's that. You know, it could be like reactors or something. So you could actually insert it and extrude it, and um, have a. Yeah, macro going on over here. So uh, let's just select these. Or uh, do something a bit more interesting, like for in example, let's split them to their own selection. Control plus. I think that's enough. Yeah, so P and let's apply, f um, let's remove these faces on top for a sec, right? This, uh, not dissolve, um, delete faces, there you go. And select this, this ring of faces, okay? And this ring of faces. Come on here, you bastard, there you go. And on the other side, we're gonna do a similar thing, or we're just gonna flip it. So, Control plus and select like this, you see? And then, um, let's go with Shift, um, Shift and Curve Extract. And we're gonna simply either array this or, could actually array this. So select these and um, not this one. Come on. Select these verts and uh, drop a cursor here with Shift S, and um, we could array this possibly with radial array around the cursor, pressing um, Control. So, and then we could, you know, ap apply this modifier. So, Smart Apply, and then and drop the cursor here and then simply shift D and to cursor and boom and you got yourself generators and then all we need to do is just close them down right so uh, simply select these two and F and select these two on the bottom and F and boom get yourself something like this which is cool and you know mirror them to the other side across this one so done right and we need to bevel them as well so because they're not beveled already so there you go and this one too cool so see that's you know that would be a blocking out of a concept uh, you know, a sort of uh, um design and then you can you know start refining this you know you got these generators and you got this right so we need to think about a ceiling right so plane and you know 
Let's go back. Let's bring the um, this cursor here to the middle and this one to the cursor and then you know make it bigger and then JZ and move it up and uh, of course solidify it down and this you know you now you need to determine your ceiling right I, mean, I think this is a little bit too tall could be a little bit you know less tall come on could be maybe somewhere here or what we could do is you know drop it down and then simply run a loop in the middle and split it and bring it up like this you know uh, this would be one solution or uh, we could basically split it like this or oh, fuck off split it like this and uh, move this one up here yeah? this also would work right could work or we could do something even cooler like you know uh, shrink this one a little bit and move it somewhere here with control and then design this one so for example um well let's apply this right and then let's select this this edge here and let's inset it a little bit like this right and then let's go with ear macro and outset it and then we're going to simply uh, slice it from this side right like that and apply it and then we're gonna array it so right and you got this kind of like a cool sort of uh interesting shape on the roof you know with a really very easy solution so there you go and then you got you know you, of course you need walls or this hallway wouldn't end here maybe this ceiling could be dropping down you know so we could um maybe maybe make it a bit lower like this but then you need to really uh think about this or maybe make it really tall you see like this right or really tall right make it I immense you know this room right in height so so if you got something like this you need to think of a structure right so you know this would be a, for example a tunnel right going somewhere okay a, a tunnel uh, so this tunnel should be you know um, this flooring could be a little bit longer then okay um, so going all you know all the way up here and uh, maybe wider this way right so on the y-axis right so here whoa of course this is mirrored so I'm gonna go from this side and a y there you go and you know this path would be longer as well right so go this way and extrude it this way right so let's imagine this situation and then we would have you know some kind of a wall here on this side right so we would rather run a slice here or in fact we could run a end gun slice so we could run it with the uh, cyclic uh, where is the end on here? End on and turn off cyclic, and we could run something like this, you know. So one more time, here and make it thicker, right? So something like this, right? And you know, run a wall in here like this, right? Okay, I'm gonna mirror it, so it doesn't matter. And I'm going to press J and you know join it, right? So E and slice it down and. Oh, for fuck's sake. I hate when it's doing it. One more time. So, you know, draw it like this and then J and E and extrude and boom. Right. And of course, it's too big, but it doesn't matter because we're going to make it smaller. Something like this and, you know, uh, mirror this to the other side, right? So, mirror it. And then, of course, we need to, you know, not camera, we need to sharpen this one right and then recalculate sharpen if it doesn't work we need to sharpen all these because they need sharpening good now we got this going on right so we got this thing and this thing and then the, you know the roof needs to be needs to be bigger right so bigger and probably wider so just bigger and move it inside here okay and then you got this uh opportunity to create some kind of a really cool structure so you got this tunnel going through 
but you know this could be made of glass or could be made of panels or could be made of uh, some steel structure so we could um, we could grab angons here and start slicing it so um, let me grab the um, angon turn this this one on and uh, in view mode we can slice it so you know we can create some really cool shapes in here right okay so let's recall this cutter and let's make it really you know really wide and also it's it's mirror to the other side so what we need to do is uh, simply mirror to the other side like this and move it on y axis there you go and now you know now you're talking so now what we can do is position it accordingly right here somewhere right make it a little bit less crazy and slice it and you're gonna have this effect of you know windows so turn off this side click and just simply slush it you know see what I mean and this is not a good slush this would be a good slush and this would be a good slush right here okay and we've got this cool paneling um, and you know for the windows going through and you can see this tunnel going across so you could have this tunnel going across some I don't know valley or whatever and uh, kind of like you know outside the station right and this is like a inside the station area and uh, this could have a second side here as well we could extend it you know uh, um, this is mirrored I forgot we could extend it here so move it all the way here and you know design it from this side Come on, that's the one. Yep, and this could be, for example, a building, you know. So this could be a door in here as well, right? So you could grab a knife and press C, and that will not work for some reason. Fine, so we're gonna do it old fashioned way split it, and one more here. Right, and you know, and you got yourself a doorway, right? And then scale it down and simply move these two to the bottom level, right? And there's your door, another kind of like entrance to this structure. And this could be, of course, it's of course mirrored, right? And so you, you got the whole base going on. This is it for this episode. I don't know if you're gonna bring it any further because this is just concepting, right? But uh, I have to resharpen really all these edges, guys, because I uh, otherwise it's gonna be a mess. So all this stuff needs to be sharpened, right? Otherwise it's not gonna work. Let's see. Um, this should do. How about here? It's not sharpened either, you see. When you run recalculate sharp and you need to make sure that you resharpen everything that needs sharpening manually otherwise it's gonna be a disaster there you go this would be an interesting concept draft i think you could keep building on it because you know the main point is to to get some idea going on and then you can just uh, once the block out is finished you can start detailing and i'm not saying detailing is easy because it's not, you know, it's not an easy thing to do. You can easily mess it up. But um, block art usually is, is the uh, the toughest part because you need to create something from nothing, and that mostly causes problems. So let's sharpen this up too. Cool. And if you want to make windows, right, it's really easy, guys. I mean, you just um, unfortunately this is all all made of angons. So it's gonna be not so easy to run, you know, run stuff in between them, but you can connect these, right? Connect all these, okay? And then you can run a loop inside, okay? See? And then you can split it, right? And once you split it, 
you got this bit so um, you can literally connect it in here with um, you can connect it with a, I mean create a plane inside right and then just change it to glass so okay so press F and then of course you need to run shops when the shops needs to be run so for example here and it needs to be sharpened right well that's it for this video guys thanks for watching catch you next video and as usual links to vid to all the add-ons in the video description hard ups box cutter and all this fun thanks for watching catch you next video